Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're exploring a major turning point in global military strategy and Middle Eastern geopolitics. The deal between China and Iran for the HQ-9B air defense system isn't just about technology. It's about shifting alliances, deterrence power, and long-term influence. The impact of this deal will ripple far beyond Tehran or Beijing. It marks a clear warning that the defense game in the Middle East has changed. Iran's acquisition of the HQ-9B reflects not only a leap in defense capability, but also a symbolic move, one that showcases China's expanding influence and Iran's growing defiance toward Western military pressure. The HQ-9B is a surfaced, wear missile system that combines long, range interception with mobility and adaptability. Visually, the system is imposing. Built on a massive 8x8 military truck platform, it looks every bit like a high-tech war machine ready to strike from any desert, mountain, or road network in the region. Its vertical missile launch tubes are arranged in a tight grid capable of firing on command. The radar trucks that accompany the missile launchers are equally critical, especially the HD-2-133 radar, a powerful phased array unit that gives the system 360 degree tracking. The design clearly prioritizes functionality and durability, making it ideal for harsh weather and combat mobility. The HQ-9B isn't fixed to one location. It's mobile, flexible, and rugged, making it a perfect fit for a country like Iran that must defend scattered assets from diverse and unpredictable aerial threats. Inside the control cabin of the HQ-9B command vehicle, operators sit surrounded by ruggedized screens and tracking systems. Real-time data flows in from the radar units, highlighting potential threats across the airspace. There's no glamour here. Everything is built for war. Iranian crews reportedly receive extensive training to operate the system autonomously, a crucial factor given Iran's desire for military independence. With Chinese advisors initially helping in early deployment stages, Tehran has rapidly localized control of the system, modifying the interface to align with its own network-centric warfare model. Performance is where the HQ-9B truly becomes a game-changer. It's not just a missile launcher. It's a full-spectrum air defense network capable of engaging targets at ranges of up to 250 or even 300 kilometers under optimal conditions, the system can track dozens of targets simultaneously. It can hit enemy aircraft, drones, cruise missiles, and possibly even low-altitude ballistic missiles depending on the variant. Its two-stage missile uses a combination of inertial navigation, mid, course guidance from the radar system, and active radar homing in the terminal phase. This makes it deadly accurate, especially against modern aerial threats, attempting evasive maneuvers or deploying electronic countermeasures. Iranian sources claim they've already tested the HQ-9B in joint drills, intercepting multiple simulated threats in rapid succession. The system's radar was able to detect targets flying at low altitudes and high speeds, demonstrating capabilities that are difficult to replicate with older systems. From a safety and survivability standpoint, the HQ-9B is built to withstand the realities of modern warfare. Its launchers can fire and relocate in minutes, greatly reducing the risk of enemy retaliation. The command system features encrypted communications, making it hard to jam or intercept. It can also be integrated into Iran's broader layered defense network, which includes shorter-range systems like the Tor M1 and Say, Yad family, providing multi-tiered defense. This makes it difficult for an enemy to strike and disable Iran's defenses in a single blow. Furthermore, Iran has invested in mobility and redundancy storing launchers and radar units in underground bases, allowing rapid redeployment across key strategic zones. 
This mobility is essential in deterring high-risk air raids or drone swarms, as attackers cannot easily predict where the system will be deployed next. What truly separates the HQ-9B from other options is its strategic value. First, it's cost-effective. Comparable Western systems like the Patriot or Israeli Arrow are far more expensive, often burdened with political restrictions or lack of long-term support. Russia's S-300 and S-400 systems are similarly effective but come with geopolitical baggage and uncertain delivery timelines. China, in contrast, offered Iran a more pragmatic deal, possibly involving technology transfers, local assembly rights, and ongoing maintenance support. This means Iran not only gets cutting, edge air defense, but gains the capacity to sustain it independently, a major step toward military self-reliance. Second, the HQ-9B fits perfectly into Iran's doctrine of asymmetric warfare. Instead of investing in air superiority fighters, Iran focuses on denying enemy air dominance. The HQ-9B supports this by covering large swaths of airspace, protecting nuclear sites, missile silos, command centers, and oil infrastructure. It turns Iran's territory into a no-fly zone for hostile air forces. Even if it doesn't completely stop all incursions, it raises the cost of each mission. Adversaries now have to think twice, prepare more thoroughly, and risk losing expensive aircraft or drones. For Iran, that deterrence is more valuable than any offensive weapon. Third, the timing of this deal signals deeper ties between Tehran and Beijing. The HQ-9B is not an isolated transaction. It's part of a broader 25-year strategic partnership between the two nations, covering trade, energy, infrastructure, and defense. By supplying such advanced systems, China positions itself not only as a commercial ally, but as a trusted military partner. Iran, in turn, gains a powerful friend on the UN Security Council, more leverage against Western sanctions, and a critical counterbalance to U.S. and Israeli pressure. The estimated cost of one HQ-9B battery runs between 400 to 500 million U.S. Dollars, depending on the missile loadout, radar suite, and support elements, Iran is believed to have acquired at least three batteries, putting the total package at over one, five billion dollars. However, Iran has reportedly paid through alternative channels, bartering oil and granting access to construction and resource contracts in exchange for military hardware. This kind of deal allows both countries to bypass traditional financial restrictions and operate under the radar of Western economic systems. The true value for Iran isn't just in hardware, but in establishing a strategic model for how to build military strength despite isolation. This deal has wider implications for regional players like Israel, Saudi Arabia, and the UAE. The HQ-9B's presence in Iran changes the strategic equation. It complicates air campaign planning, forces investments in countermeasures, and potentially reduces the effectiveness of first-strike doctrines. For the United States, it signals that its dominance over Middle Eastern airspace is now challenged by a non-Western bloc willing to share advanced technology. China, by doing this, signals to the world that it is ready to shape global defense trends, not just follow them. It challenges the narrative that only the West can supply reliable high-tech systems and offers an alternative path to power for countries under sanctions or political pressure. In conclusion, the HQ-9B deal between China and Iran is more than a defense transaction. It's a bold declaration of sovereignty, strategy, and defiance. It enhances Iran's ability to protect its airspace, strengthens Chinese influence in a volatile region, 
and creates a new template for how countries outside the U.S. sphere can build military capability, while the effectiveness of the HQ-9B will ultimately be tested in the crucible of real conflict, its arrival has already disrupted assumptions, shifted strategies, and redrawn red lines in the sand. The skies over the Middle East are no longer a one-sided domain, and the world is watching.